Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you my cyclical variable sorter for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The idea here is that you take a bunch of mixed boxes and you pass them through an array of these slices, and each slice will be mapped to the first item of a shulker box. It can handle most things that you throw at it, it can handle unstackables, 64 stackables, non-64 stackables. This is based on a Java Edition concept by Datnod, and I will have his videos and his channel linked in the description. I'm going to show you this in action. So. If you watch my video on the sequential shulker box unloader from a couple weeks ago, this top part will look fairly similar to that, because it is more or less the same. So you will put the box in here, it will be dispensed, and, and this variable filter here will be mapped to the first item type in the box. If that item type is unstackable, or 16 stackable, it will be unmapped immediately and put into this stream here. If it is 64 stackable, the variable filter will stay mapped, and the items will be loaded into the shulker box. When the box is full, it will replace this box with another one, and when the batch of boxes is finished processing, it will unmap the variable sorter, put the item into this box, and break the box. The result will be an output of boxes containing a single item type. So here I've got an array of the slices. This is six slices, and I have also connected an is empty to the end, which will basically filter out empty boxes. And boxes that still have items in them will go in here, and they will be sent through the variable sorter again. I'm going to show you we're working now. So here I've got a shulker box with a bunch of items in it. Uh, this will prove that it can handle all 64 stackables, unstackables, and 16 stackable items. I'm going to place the chest here. As you can see, the boxes are being put into here, and they're being unloaded. The first slice has been mapped to red concrete. The box is then gone into the next slice, and it will be mapped to the next 64 stackable item, which is orange concrete. And so on until every slice has been mapped. And once all of the boxes have passed through, it will actually reset the variable sorters and break the boxes. On the back we've got a line here that detects if slices are active, and when slices have been inactive for long enough, uh, it will power this rail line, which resets the relevant variable sources. And once that happens, there will be some delay for the items to move into the shulker boxes, and then the mapping detection will be reset. So as you can see, we're getting some output. We've got a box, some 16 stackables and some unstackables. As you can see, the variable sorter is finishing up now, but we're doing the last box. and. It's going to register the last slice is mapped. Send a pulse along rail line to reset the variable sources. Reset the mapping detection. And if we come down here, we should have all six of our output boxes with different items in each box. Before I end off, I'm going to just explain why you might want to use this. So, shulker box splitting is generally faster because it's completely parallelized instead of being serialized like this. But, uh, shulker box splitting is extremely shulker box hungry it will consume a lot of shulker boxes. And this is more practical in some situations where you don't have that many shulker boxes, because it will use far fewer boxes in total. And it is better than the sequential shulker box unloader in some situations, because instead of having a fixed item type for each slice, it has a variable filter. And that means that it's more suitable for high variety situations where you want to sort lots of different item types. With that said, I would like to thank you for watching. And remember to check out Datnod's video as he explains the basic concept of this and shows off his design for it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Have a good day.